So it's Monday the 26th of June. It is approximately, not exactly 20 past nine. Faye has been dropped to school and I'm away to Bolton for a bit of fishing. Um, so last week I got a second rod, took two rods down, I got bite alarms, cheap bite alarms. And I think I caught 34 fish, 29 on camera. So I thought to myself, next week I'm actually going to try and blog it. I'm going to try and blog it properly, maybe get a wee bit of chatting in there, explaining what I'm doing, the equipment that I'm using, because I've went cheap and cheerful for my setup. But yeah, I'm fair enjoying these uh, Mondays going fishing down this fishery. So it's uh, called Burns Trout Fishery, it's in Tobolton. It's um, the same distance from Kilmarnock as it is here, but it's classified as South Ayrshire. Um, it's a nice wee fishery, there's, there's four ponds there, you've got a fly fishing pond for trout, you've got a bait pond for trout, a coarse pond, trout, uh, a coarse pond for everything obviously, and then there's a carp pond up at the back which is the one that I've been going on, um, and I've been having some luck with it. Um, the Mondays that I've been going down though, there's been absolutely no one there, but there was a wee guy called Jim that came up to my peg last week and started chatting away and he was telling me that he go down on a weekend absolutely mobbed so these Mondays off are suited for what I'm doing then um, feeling a little bit hungover this morning <laughs> a little bit rough and I already realised that I've forgotten half the stuff that I wanted to bring today um, I know I forgot my tripod that I was going to bring because I was going to be vlogging um, I had a, I use old phones to film when I'm doing any vlogs and I know that I've picked up the wrong phone because I've got my old iPhone from about six years ago so the quality won't be great but we'll be able to get something out of it and I've still got the phone that I used to play like my current phone um, I need to In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto A719 um, I need to remember today to put on some sun cream because the past two or three times I've been I forgot to put on sun cream thinking oh it's not that sunny and I've came home and absolutely skilled it. So that'll be one of the first things that I do once I get set up today. Turn right onto A719. In half a mile, turn left onto B730. Okay. Um, so I make sure I get the sun cream on today. I've got the the cheap fashion brolly that I brought with me as well because it's due to rain today. You can tell that because all of the cows are lying down. Um, as much as the sun's split the skies and out, but that's good for me because it means I'm able to get set up first. So I. It's, uh, it's £9 at this fishery for a full day with one rod, or it's £13 for two rods for a full day, uh, which I think is a reasonable price. To turn left onto B730. They ask that if you're using the method feeder that you use, fish and pellets and ground baits that are sold in the shop here, um, which is absolutely Continue fine. on B730 for half a mile. Because the the micro pellets in here are two pounds for a wee bag. I'm assuming it's a couple of pints or something. I don't know what's in it. I'll see if I can find that out when I go in to pay the bailer. Jesus Christ! That's not even a learner driver. That's a fucking a teacher. Halfway out in the fucking middle of the road, fucking Berlin. Part of my French. So yeah, that's us almost here. In a quarter of a mile, your destination will be on the left. Okay. I'm glad that I forgot to bring the wee tripod that can sit up on the dashboard so you can see the, the drive here. A stunning drive. So Bolton's a lovely looking wee village um, out in the country. But anyway, that's us here. I'll, um, I'll get signed in and I'll get to my peg hopefully. Your destination is on the left. Right, all signed in. So it's £15. My two rods and my bag of micro pellets. Um, Brandon, the, the boy that works in the, the wee hut 
guys that you stay down in. He said there's only three people on so far and they're all on a fly pond. So that means that my favourite peg will hopefully still be sat empty. Have you guys doing some tatty farming? It really is a shame that I've no got the tripod set up to the front because the place is absolutely stunning. Pond. This is probably going to be terrible for us. Oh, sorry, no, that's the course pond. That's the course pond to the left, and then right up the back is where I'm going, which is the carp pond. The uh, the bait pond, or the course pond as they call it, um, that's got hundreds of wee things in there. It's, I think it's got perch and it's got tench and it's got F1s. I think, there's bream. I think there might even be some trout in there as well. I'm pretty sure I've seen a video where a guy had caught some trout in there, but I could be wrong. Anyway, let's see where we are. He's driving fairly slow up here because they, uh, they do not like it. of the day. Not a bad start. Well, can I get them all? Can I get them all? Nice one. Four or five pounders on that. I'll try and get them straight back out. Get the rod straight back out. So I got it, I never bought my tripod because it's have some crash in the forest right now. But as you can see, I'm using one of those Preston I see this like banjo y feeders. Those are molds. These things are cracking and you can get the set right every time. And I'm just using speed wash. 
washed us, washed us, I don't know, either, however you want to put it. But. So, because it's a quiet wheat fishery as well, and I'm using quite a lot because I've got two rods in and I'm fucking about on my farm. I've got these cheap wee, like, nine pound uh, bite alarms that I got off Amazon. I've got the link down in the description. Um, they were cheap and cheerful, but they do the job. Not so handy if you get any, like, the fish coming towards you, but I suppose I've not got bobbins or anything like that on. It, uh, it's quite windy today, so there's no point watching the fucking temperature because it's just constantly like that. Um, but yeah, the the but yeah, the bite alarms are um, they keep you on the quiet set, they're quite loud, which I don't think is bad if you're sitting way back from your rods. But I'm sitting right next to them and I don't want screeching the whole, the whole day long. So what I've done is I've put a bit of sellotape tape over the bell. Or over the, the speaker or whatever you want to call it and it just dampens it down and then you can get, can get better control of it like how loud you want it I don't need it too loud because I can't it anyway so yeah it's perfect so that's, that's what it looks like I've got the fisheries pellets on it's just the fisheries wiper pellet and I covered them in goo last night and a wee bit of um, clothing goo the two free clothing goo but a tiny wee bit of red food colouring in there. It's a good 
one. Did a fuel bag um, when it first took the felt train and changed straight into the waterway, straight in after the wind, so you need to get fuel really quickly. Much luck today. My wee pal Jim comes. 
and lo and behold I get a fresh one. So that's three. Which I kind of complain because the tension's been great. But I might speak too soon. So that's two off that left side, which is end for the wind. I'm gonna try and get them when they're coming down. Sun hits the sky. I'll be happy if I can get ten today, so I've got three. One. Just not having my usual luck today. They're, um, they're definitely taking it's just a wee bit slower than usual. I think that's about on the road, I can't tell. The wind's just <coughs> the rod tips are just swinging everywhere. So I'm just relying on the bite arms. Although I think that is one. <clears throat> and because I forgot my, my tripod as well, I can't even put that with it in properly. Mm. My Gimple's battery's died. The phone that I'm filming on's died about two or three times. But I've um, I set up a power bank. 
and a mummy table. So I got that wee table from Home Bargains for like seven quid. Strapped a wee power bank underneath. Quite smart, I keep all my stuff right next to it. Um, and then I'll show you the what I've done with the bite arms as well. The bite arms, a wee bit of tape on them, just to dampen the, the sound of the bell, which haven't done too many times today, unfortunately. Nice VF1. Look at that fucking beast. Two at once. Two in the same mix. So I just had two. Two back to back. And then. Put this one straight back in the water. That's right.
Tripod's being a pain in the ass. Gimbal's charges dying every five to seven minutes. But we are getting plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. Basically, every time I'm on the phone to someone, the rods just go absolutely daft, screeching off. There we go. So I look at tripod. My gimbal's not working right. There we go. And I've got a big chunky on. able to hear that bite alarm screeching away as I was chatting away saying oh you know, I've got a tripod working the gimbal's going and the phone's running out of memory <laughs> here's a wee fish on one after the other I couldn't even get that other rod back out quick enough this one feels a wee bit smaller than the last this might be an F1 or something Let's Every time I think I've got something small on, I get a pipe to the net, and then it's just a big mirror. My message was on the phone earlier, and she said, it just looks as if you keep catching the same fish. Like, I kind of grumble, because I'm not getting ones on. I don't like the new ones, I like these big ones. Okay, catch up. Oh. Another wee runner. Nice but what I will say is as a note to sell for next time as I'll bring in some sanitizer the corners fish have been covered in parasites and I've actually been bit by a couple so but I good fishing conditions like I kind of I kind of grumble every time I put the rod in the water I'm getting a bite can't even get them both in at the same time and I get a bite on one of them sometimes so at least we know the tactics of letting the baits work Feeding time now for them. And I'll get this one casted out and then try and get the phone set back.
hook baits off of this one. At least I've not lost the bait band this time. One of the fish actually took the bait band off of the, the hair rig. I think this is my last, last one of that pack. I mean, it's not a great losing tackle. You want to try and keep your, keep your fishing as cheap as possible, but when you're catching this many fish, I suppose it's going to happen, isn't it? At least I know that the hooks are sharp. If I'm having to put a new one on every time. Not every time, but at least every session. one cast it out and then try and get the actual phone set up. See this is what I mean. That other one is literally just cast it out. We can get that other one set up probably. <laughs> feed the rods over and under each other like every single time then I because it keeps seeing it just whatever from one end of the lake to the other. Seven pounds, which for here, I think that's pretty, pretty decent. He definitely felt heavier than the last few, but he fought a lot harder as well. So I'm saying the commons, the commons do seem to fight quite hard in here. Yeah. When you get them to the net, they just flip continuously. So as they do. back in the water. Get another rod in, see if I can get another fish.
good size bell on it. Aye, these, the mirrors are quite stocky usually. Stumpy. Sites though that are a wee bit worrying. Constantly getting bent by worms and stuff. I am not a big fan of getting eaten by the bugs that are on the fish, that's for sure. Absolute panic when it happens. <laughs> Down here. Okay, fish. I'm hoping you see that in a bite alarm, but you probably didn't because I was still trying to fish it.
Lift this up. Just as I'm trying to pack down this office harvest. Just as I'm getting ready to leave, I'm still putting them in the water. I'm still putting the rods in the water. Just to finish off that last wee bit of bait, but I start taking down the, the brolly. And we still keep going. Whilst I've got the bait, it's mighty well. Rolly down and hopefully hopefully I do get a bite but hopefully it's not possible. having a hell of a munch on my hand. 
So this is what it looks like when I pack down. Probably that's the new net that I didn't even bother using today because it's too big. I get both my rods in here, my brolly, my nets, my vital arms, everything goes in there apart from my tackle bag, my Table, my chair, some boxes for bait. Well, so there was there was my first attempt at a fishing vlog, and by the looks of it, I've caught the bloody sun again. Because I didn't put on any sun cream again. A nice wee day down to Bolton. Um, as I said before, I don't know how many I caught. I don't know what this video is going to be like until I've edited it. Obviously, I was speaking just now before it's edited. Hopefully, we've managed to get a few of them on camera. And it's been worth watching. So, away home for a beer and to get this video edited. Thanks for watching. If you haven't been on the channel before, and it's your first time, and you liked what you've seen, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.